Hi guys! So the next trick we're going to work on is to tidy up your toys without a lid. Um, so right now I'm just using a laundry basket because it's a nice big target um, that she can hit easily. We're just going to start with one toy and move up from there. So I'll show you how this looks. I'm going to sit in front of the basket that I want her to bring it to. This is a dog that already plays fetch. She also does hide in your box if you can't tell. my hand towards the back of it to give her a target and then she put places it in right go get it girl she's trying to give it to my hand and, and what she's doing is actually placing it in there go get it when she places it in there I click and then toss a treat good girl now I'm starting to fade the hand, and she's placing it in there all by herself. Ready? Go get it. She should drop her treat. Right there. Try again. Try again. Girl, if she misses, all I'm doing is telling her to try again. Just encouraging her to keep trying. It's not a correction. It's just encouragement. Bring it. Try again. Try again. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. So the next step is going to start is going to be to start mixing up which toys you use. So I'm switching to a rope with a ball on the end of it. Ready? Okay. Good girl. The idea is that they learn to put anything that you tell them to in the basket. Ready up. Tidy up. Good girl. Are you ready? Tidy up, Cal. Tidy up. Get good one. Get it. Go get it. <laughs> Here, go. Go get it. Tidy up. Tidy up. Tidy up. Good girl. Yay. Good girl. All right, guys. 
So once we have them putting multiple toys in the ba in the basket or in the um, your toy chest, we're gonna go back and work with just one again. And what we're gonna do is get that basket or whatever you're putting your toys away into a little bit further away from you to the point where you can have the basket anywhere and give them their cue and they're still going to put it in the basket. So we're just going to do this with one thing. Ready? Tidy up. Yes, good girl. Tidy up. So I'm just going to do two right in front of me again, just to get her going. Slowly start moving it further away from me. Tidy up. start standing, just changing the picture up a little bit, so I can move around. Tidy up. Okay, go tidy up. Girl. Move it to the other side of me. Tidy up. Tidy up. Girl. I'm going to start moving a little bit further away. Tidy up. <laughs> so once you're doing one from a distance, what we're going to do is we're going to start introducing multiples. Um, so we're going to go back, just like we did before, we're going to go back to having it right in front of us, and then we're going to slowly move it away. Um, so we're going to start off with just with three of them. I'm going to put it right in front of me, and I'm just going to put these pretty close. Tidy up. Girl. Once again, I'm going to throw them out there. I'm just going to move it a little bit away from me. Tidy up. So by this point, she's gotten that she needs to put them in there. Tidy up. Girl. Tidy up, Flash. Or Kelly. Yay, good girl. I'm going to toss them out again. Even further. Tidy up. Good girl. Tidy up. Tidy up. Leave it. No, Kelly, leave it. No. Go tidy up. Again, put it a little bit further away. Tidy up. Good girl. Tidy up. Hey, good girl, my cow. Tidy up. Come on. Come on. Tidy up. Okay. 
Get to me. standing and having this a little bit further away from me. I'll put it back where you guys can actually see it. Ready? Tidy up. Tidy up. Girl. Tidy up, Cal. Tidy up. If she takes it out. All I'm doing is putting it right back in. Leave it. Go tidy up. Kelly. Go tidy up. Tidy up. Very good. Did you forget? Leave it. Tidy up. toys out a little bit further. Sorry, the treats are getting lost here. Come here, Cal. Tidy up. Tidy up. Take that one. Good girl. And that's your tidy up trick. <laughs> 